Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and show you guys my PoE private league that's been uh, supported by Raka. So thank you, Mr. Raka. Uh, and I want to let you guys know kind of what you can do in a private league and the differences in this private league. So basically what we have set up is a private league where no rare items can drop and you can only find ma or, uh, white items and uniques. Uh, so think of it like this, if a jewel were to drop blue, it'll just be white instead, right? So that's kind of how it works. And we also have as a mode set up, it's kind of like an honor system mode, because we don't. it's not actually a mode. I wanted to play solo self-found, but I wanted to play with friends, but you can't do solo self-found with friends. So we kind of introduced our own style of Diablo 3 trading. I know I said the meme Diablo 3, but they did, they did a couple of good things. So Diablo 3 trading means... If you are in the party and you are all actively playing together and an item drops, you can decide who gets it, right? But if you're not a part of that group and you're not playing with them, like you're in town when they killed the boss and the shavs drops, you have no access to that loot. So it kind of puts a restriction on no trading at all, but it allows you to still play with your friends and still do stuff and progress with your friends. Um, but you still kind of keep the solo self out aspect now This is just a baseline for what we have planned for the server uh, We are you know more than likely going to adjust things as we go on like if we notice Players are getting stuck at a certain part and they can't progress in a fun way and they're forced to do this Then you know, maybe we'll allow trading of certain currency not selling but trading So it's not like you know, you're just farming the same thing forever, but more or less you have an abundance of something and you want to get rid of it for something else, right? Um, because this is supposed to be a crafting league. Now, we do have one other modifier on and that is the 20% more monster life. The reason for this is the whole point of this private league is to kind of slow progression down and let you kind of enjoy the game. Um, so I didn't want to put more damage mods or things like that. I wanted to just add more monster life so you spend more time crafting your gear you really need to craft that gear and make it feel worth it. Uh, and then the monsters just have a little bit more life and that's pretty much it. Um, so anyway, with that being said, I wanted to let you guys know the character I'm playing. Uh, I told you guys on the League Start, I'm most likely going to be playing Winter Orb. So um, since I'm going to be playing Winter Orb and I really want to play it as CI, I kind of wanted to play it now. I, I know I can't use Winter Orb, but I can still play the character and kind of get a feel of how it's going to feel. Um, and then the whole transitioning into CI. So that's what I'm doing right now with the character. Of course, I'm starting off life based, but it shouldn't be more than like 30 regrets to respec, and that can't be that difficult considering you get like 20 plus from quests. Um, and the character feels pretty smooth right now. We leveled originally with Freezing Pulse, uh, and then I noticed that Glacial Cascade just felt so much stronger than Freezing Pulse because you don't have to use like LMP, for example. Um, and then when I got my Threshold Jewel, I said I really wanted to go Frostbolt instead of Freezing Pulse, uh, as I told you guys, so that's what we're doing right now. So basically, I did <clears throat> Freezing Pulse with Volley and whatever multipliers you want, just for the clear, uh, and then at 28, I recommend Glacial Cascade, and then when you can get your Threshold Jewels, Frostbolt feels totally fine to level with, uh, and this is kind of what it looks like. And the reason why it's nice, I only have one Threshold Jewel, remember, we're not trading or anything, so I gotta find everything. Um, but the reason why it's nice is because you can basically jump into the packs and the Frostbolt will come from behind, shatter, you know, freeze the targets. Um, when we get Beacon of Ruin, which won't be until Uber Lab, it would also create the Pro Lift, which would freeze everything around it. Um, and that's really, really good. I also decided to pick up Minion Damage Scaling since we don't really get much damage at the beginning. It's kind of spread out through the whole tree and grabbing Heart of Ice is like LOL impossible because we're like a life base build, so we'd be wasting so many points to try to get over here. The tree looks much better as an ES character. Uh, anyway, just to show you guys a little bit of how the character works. We are currently using Controlled Destruction, Cold Pen, Frostbolt, Hypothermia, uh, and then I'm usually using Frostbite. This is probably the worst place to show this though, because these are like the really fucking tanky mobs. Oh, this is a strong box. Freezes you. If you guys didn't know, by the way, you can use a portal to basically teleport back as you get frozen. Jax agrees with me. You can basically use a portal to go back. 
Uh, and as long as you're standing on the same spot, it will also allow you to go even if you're frozen. And the single target doesn't feel that bad either. You can see here, it's pretty decent. Uh, I am typically trying to stay over-leveled on the mobs because, you know, like I was saying, the monsters do have 20% more life. So we're, I'm level 50 in a 47 zone. But anyway, it's not too much of a progression video. I just want to let you guys know the server that we're playing on. Uh, I don't know how many players we have currently. I think we're like 70 players. Um, 87 out of 170. Here we go. Here is our current server if you're curious, and I just wanna let you guys know how to apply. Um, so it's really simple on my live stream, if you guys are familiar with that, you can use the exclamation mark private league command, which will just give you a simple summary of what I explained uh, about the mods of the league. We also have an official global channel if you wanna talk and you know not feel lonely. It's 1138. Now to apply to the league, all you have to do is type exclamation mark apply when you type exclamation mark apply it's going to send you directly to this website right here and then i will have to manually accept you into the private league um, by basically doing you would pop up here like this accept or deny and i can hit accept and update and you're in the game so if it takes a little while i apologize but for sure if i'm live streaming you can always find me like right there did that not work Oh, there we go. Not sure why that happened. All right, anyway, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Uh, the slots are limited at the moment. You can thank Raka Gaming, and I know a few other people like Midrix have also added some to the, um, to the, uh, I forgot what it's called, crowdfunding. So, you know, shout out to them. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's pretty much about it. So hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Take care and have a wonderful time, everybody.